That was the same player from earlier. Apparently no one's on ladder today. No, no lurking fear. I'm destroyed. Alright, let's replace the expensive cards and try and cover. The normal, honest way. Two Sarlaccs seem good. It's pretty annoying against Nagbar. The game tries to prove me wrong when I try to prove I'm better than streamers. That's gaming for you. Like, trying to prove you're better than people never works, because you just... It, you put too much pressure on yourself and it just doesn't come together. My, my draws were pretty glorious in that game. Those games... Uh, if I draw Lurking Fair, I can play this straight away. That seems better than... I don't need two Sarlaccs. Meh. Do I just play this in the middle? I think so. Now this is so good with the 3-3 three, three that deals 3 damage around it, though. Yeah, it's quite good with Nasher. Um, sort of make a bigger Frostbone Naga, basically. Ragewind is a good card. No plays. Is it worth luring the Ragebinder? What else could I even do in that situation? Naffle. So let's just play a deal test. I like deal test. Care with Sarlacc? He might have NS. I mean, it's Sarlacc, who cares? Uh, so the deal test is just going to get punched in the face. So maybe I should leave the Monotile up, but that's kind of a bad idea. I'll tell you what I can do first. Let's see if I RNG and hit this monotile. No. Um. I mean, at least with Sarlacc there, my opponent doesn't get two monotiles next turn. So they can't make it to six mono. They can make it to five. Um. If I stand, like, here, I can play Dioltas right in a corner where it can't get lava slashed but like ultimately that seems pretty boring nah let's just play it play it the normal sensible way that's a good draw I love Sarlacc so much I need to play this card more. <laughs> it's surprisingly good. The the chip damage, the ability to like suddenly have the ability to play minions elsewhere. Like Sarlacc has a few hidden lines of rules text on it, such as your opponent's natural selections no longer do anything. Uh, you can trigger dying uh, death watch at least once a turn. You can. Uh, Malice, however much you know, however much you want. Oh my god, that's really aggressive. Um. <coughs> or like, yo, all your minions have airdrop. Um. Didn't attack with this. Am I supposed to trade with the Ragebinder here or not? I think Reaper into Reaper seems like a good sequence. I can trade with this with the Dialtas, giving myself a 0-10 for protection, uh, which also helps against the second round of Drogon Burst, if he has Cryptographer. I can kill the egg. So let's get you out of the way. Cool, now I can play Reaper in a nice little corner. Let's go with... Hopefully it spawns here. Damn. I'm going to die. Um, hmm. Well, I guess let's just hope they don't have the... Uh, Let's play this here to body block and hope they don't have the cryptographer. Of course it's good, it's the mighty overlord of duelist. You know it.
even things like the, you know the, the one damage every turn adds up like it kills minions it hits them in the face if your deck isn't very fast like you know most dying wish decks aren't oh my god they are going for it all right get me a lava slasher <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Uh oh. Goodness me. Oh, wow. They're just killing it straight up. That Reaper of the Nine Moons gave me a three for one. What a beauty. Okay. Now we need to make sure we don't die. Go here. Go here. Chuck something in the way. Do I want another deal, Tess? This is the most mana efficient thing I can do. Or this plus Malice on Sarlacc. I can make a 4-4 four -four like here. Oh, dice the war beast. Here? Seems bad. If I play the Reaper. That's a thought. War beast. This doesn't die to Macantor. Um, this does, this does. But this might steal something else. <clears throat> kind of like the idea of getting out the 4 4. Don't play it next turn. No, that's not, that's not a problem. Wouldn't lowering the egg have been better so you don't expose yourself to the draw gun? No, I didn't want the... I, like, then I can't do anything else with my turn, basically. It's just insanely mana inefficient. But... Oh, that's quite good, actually. Right, let's do... This. There's a small risk of Sarlacc spawning somewhere that exposes me to a war beast. It did. Uh, although not that much actually because my opponent can't play it here um, so it just dies if they hit the tombstone which is fine new reveal <gasps> give me the goods thicket ogre oh wow that's cool uh, so I'll just put this on the screen after the game but it's a 2 mana 1-1 one, one. it's a common it's a van arminian called thicket ogre intensify Summon one Treant with Provoke nearby. So the first time it does one of them, the second time it does, uh, does two of them, and so on. I assume randomly. Damn. So it's a little bit like um, Orb Weaver, the Vitruvian, Vitruvian card, but it's a two drop, which makes it a lot better. This is very nice. Sa um, Sa -like. This is very nice Kara support, I think. It's a pretty cool little card. Right, are we drawing yet? I could, like, Azahorn Shaman to give this extra health. And then this kills the Lava Slasher. That's actually pretty cool. I might do that. can move this down one as well. And then I can afford to play a Dialtas alongside. So it goes... Play this here. Sack it. You move down one. You come here. Kill this. You go face. I'm getting out of the way. Uh, let's go with... Over here, I suppose. Because if they will be, I just get this back anyway. And then we'll play a deal test. Say here. I'm playing it to rebuke like a little bit, but not much. <clears throat> so what does intensify do? Intensify means that each copy you play increases the effect an additional time. So the first time it the first copy you play it triggers once, the second time it triggers twice and so on. Um they also suggest that it happens if you, like, resummon the minions rather than 
uh, actually playing them from hand, like if you have nether summoning or something. Plasma Storm. That's okay. That Iridium skill is doing work, though. Fair play. Right, now I think it's time to draw cards. Where's my cursor gone? Do I want to play this Lurking Fear first? Get us another discount. Wait, I haven't, I haven't played a Lurking Fear yet. There, see, we're, we're doing pretty well, just despite not having played one. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Alright, yeah, let's do that. Cash this in. Sack Salak. Nice. Um... What does that even do for me? Probably I want to play the Void Pulse here. I'm mostly worried about burst damage. If I play the Dioltes here, they can threaten my opponent if they come here. But if they come here, I can't attack them. Uh, if I come here or here, I can get hit by Warbeast. Which is sad. I think that's fine. Uh, where are we? I played the Void Pulse to pick the artifact, but this is fine, I guess. There's no reason not to attack them with Sarlacc anyway. And before Abyss Legendary 6 of Honor 2 to intensify summon a, demon ne summon a demon nearby. That would be sick, actually. That would be really fun. <coughs> yeah, so as a 7 drop, that would be sweet. Damn. That's pretty good. I think that wins them the game. Actually, it depends on where the 0 10 spawns from Dialtas as well, doesn't it? And if I can just gain some health, then we might be okay. She's not doing anything here. So I should try and body block the spaces where the tombstone won't do anything. Which is the ones behind me. I need to Desolator instead of Vorpal in case the tombstone misses. I guess I could trade fast and then I can play the Vorpal if the tombstone lands. Then I lose to NS... So I think I need to play this anyway. So they have to have NS plus another damage effect. In which case I may as well try and block the tombstone from spawning badly. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. It worked. Sorian is definitely still still good. Still playable. Um, definitely still happening. Right, please don't kill me. Can we win next turn? Yeah, we can. Well, assuming we can attack. We might not be able to attack. Do I have mana to, like... No, I don't. Draw them? Plasma stone. Ah! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> They're gonna attack. Oh, sensible positioning. That's definitely good positioning. Okay, this is too slow. That's too slow. I think we're dead here, kids. Um, I guess I can body block. Let's see if that gets me anywhere. We die to literally anything, though. I guess, like, there's not that much difference between being on two life and four. 
So I could play Desolator and then Malice the Sarlacc and put it here. Um, no, we have to go somewhere far away. Yeah, that seems that seems fine. Because then I at least play around natural selection. No, wait, that's wrong. I need the 4-4 four four to be here. I, ne I need it to not attack. Oh, I threw. <laughs> Damn. Um... Oh, well, let's draw cards and see if I hit all the other Void Pulses I'm not playing. Maybe I should be playing more Void Pulses. Alright. With Malice, you could have made sure that the Tombstone spawns in a good place. Um, that's true. Yeah. I would have died, though. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Like, I, want, I needed to play the Desolator so that I could heal so that my opponent couldn't just remove the Tombstone and kill me. 